Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com and in this tutorial we will look at how you can sum a range of values whilst ignoring the formula errors that may appear within that range and on screen I've got two formula errors appearing within a range of cells that I would like to sum uh, these errors caused uh, maybe a little bit silly you know creating div slash zero errors because I want to divide by a cell that's empty uh, but it has created these two error values uh, and they will not allow me to sum this range while they exist now arguably the better way of dealing with this well not arguably in this exact scenario definitely the best way of dealing with this would be to use an is error or, or even better an if error function uh, on each of these cells so that if an error message appeared uh, we would be able to do something different in this case probably display zero so the uh, the summing would continue to happen however if your range is very large you know if you've got many worksheets at the bottom uh, or within your book uh, and we're talking hundreds of thousands of rows etc across these then it's not going to be a viable option all these formulas will add weight to your spreadsheet they'll add calculation time and it will drastically slow down uh, and potentially even stop your spreadsheet at times and um, certainly impair its functionality so an alternative is I could put the formula in this one little cell here that will just ignore them when it adds and the function we'll be looking at is one called aggregate this is a brilliant function it does so much for your spreadsheets it's really worth checking out in a little bit more detail down what this uh, video will do for it justice wise but it is something that will ignore these error values so uh, to put it into cell E17 as it is on my workbook here I'll type equals aggregate and up it pops and it will return an aggregate in the list awesome open bracket and look at this look at the range 19 different functions it can perform your standard aggregate stuff all your usual suspects through to even large and small and quartile and this kind of stuff now for me I wanted to sum the values so I'm going to put number 9 there which is the sum function and put a comma so now I move off and go oh, you want to sum the values uh, okay what would you like me to ignore do you want me to ignore other aggregates that are embedded within this and subtotal functions no look at this one do you want to ignore all hidden rows error values and nested subtotal and aggregate functions. Now, for this example, I just want to ignore error values. Um, I don't really want it to ignore anything else. So I'm going to choose number six to ignore the error values and put a comma. So that will ask me for the array of cells. So where are the cells you want to add? I'm just going to select range E2 uh, to E15 and put a closing bracket. And that is it asking if it can sum all the values in that range uh, while ignoring the error values and I press enter I get a value despite them errors existing there as it ignores them so rather than using the standard sum I've used the aggregate function um, which hopefully you saw as we're building up there is capable of of a lot more than just this but certainly is a good kind of string to your bow if you're looking at extra fancy functions to get under uh, your belt certainly a good one I mean there's one quick little demonstration of it in action I'm just going to change it number six uh, let's get it to remind me what the numbers mean here we go uh, maybe I want it to ignore rows and values you go for seven no rows and values uh, I'll press enter same answer but then I could turn on the filter tool and by filtering this list that will hide rows it says it's going to ignore the hidden rows so if I did filter it for only the French orders it's now calculating ignoring the error values but also ignoring hidden rows so it's only adding these two so now I'm working it in with my filter how awesome is that as a function goes <laughs> so a little extra in the video there I kind of went off the off the cuff uh, getting a bit excited but what his tutorial was doing is looking at summing values and ignoring error messages. I hope you find it useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargard.com and some of our other videos that you'll find on our YouTube channel.